Hi guys! Today I'm making something uh, that I made a little while ago. I was testing the recipe and I posted the picture on my Instagram and one of my followers asked me to make this recipe because she's waiting to try it out. So today we are making banana bread. I also want to tr uh, try and see how long it will take me to make this recipe. So I'm setting a timer and I will tell you at the end how long it took me to make all the preparations excluding the baking time because you will know the baking time but the preparation time so let's get started So the first thing I'm gonna do is to mash the bananas and I uh, wanted to, to get ripe bananas faster so I've read something somewhere on Google that I can uh, put them in a brown bag and they should be ripe. So let's see. They look quite nice. That's pretty good. You can use bananas that are completely black as well. The bananas could be a little bit softer um, but uh, because I want to share this recipe with you guys now I don't have time to wait for the bananas to ripe because I'm going on a holiday in a couple of days and I want to post this recipe before that so this will do. Here I have uh, soft butter and sugar that I'm going to um, that I'm going to cream together. So that's good enough. Now I'll add one egg at a time. So that's all mixed and now I'm adding the bananas. And here I have a flour with baking powder and, and baking soda that I'm also adding in. So with this recipe I'm not sifting the flour in, but again if you want you can do that. And until I mix it uh, completely, what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna add the pecan nuts, which I have here. And I have used uh, this mortar, I hope it's called the same <laughs> in English because I'm not sure. Um, so I've just lightly crushed them, so not uh, made them into really small pieces, just about into four pieces. If you want, you can uh, just uh, chop them with the knife. And they go in, and now I just mix everything. So I want to mix until all of the flour is mixed in. So. Here I have a bread tin that I'm going to butter. All the sides. If you don't do this, the cake might not come out of the tin, so you really want to butter the tin. And the butter goes in. The bread is ready now and it's ready to go in the oven. So let's have a look at the time. Now I can stop it. 
so even with all of the uh, my um, chit chat it took me about uh, just over 10 minutes I had everything measured beforehand so for you it will take about the same so about the 10, 10 minutes of course it will take some time for you to uh, measure the things but there will not be the blah blah <laughs> so about 10 minutes to prepare and now the cake will go in the oven for 15 50 minutes so the cake is uh, out of the oven now don't be scared <laughs> it's not right of the oven it's been cooling for about half an hour and now I'm gonna take it out of the uh, cake pan I'm helping first with the spatula to get the edges Oops. Last time I made this banana bread, uh, we were eating it with some Greek yogurt and today I'm gonna try uh, to eat it with some quark on top. It was very delicious, even with quark. <laughs> so you can eat uh, this banana bread with uh, the traditional things like peanut butter or some chocolate spread or whatever you like or you can try our way and try it with Greek yogurt or quark. I hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye until next time.